Alright, I'm just up in my room. That's where I uh, get my hornworms to pupate. I just normally don't do this many. I usually put them in individual Dixie cups, but I had about 30 left over. But there you can see he's in the early stage. It's pretty cool. And then when they get into their full pupate, I bring them over to this tub. Tuck them all in. And then I found a gutter guard. It's pretty handy. I was using it for when I was trying to breed silkworms, but that was an epic fail. So I find these guys, once they hatch and poop all over the place, they uh, like to climb up on the gutter guard. And then they, they got enough space to hang. So yeah, I'll uh, go downstairs and uh, show you how I feed my moths. Alright, we're back at my welfare cage here. I was pretty lazy and I threw some pupates just underneath this plant a couple days ago. I don't know if you can see him. I got one guy there, he hatched this morning. Then I got another mature pupate. It's right there, so hopefully they'll hatch up soon. So I'll get this little guy in the house, feed him. You just gotta be careful because unlike the silkworm moths, these guys can fly pretty good. He's pretty fresh so his wings are still wet. So let's take him in for feeding. Okay, this will be attempt two. I'm trying to feed this little bugger. But I think he's too fresh. Once you get it in the water, it's fine. Just getting them not to freak out. There. Short of the rat's nest. He's eating. And he'll eat for about five minutes. It's just a uh, four to one solution of uh, sugar and water. Four parts water, one part sugar. Boiled just like you do on the stove for hummingbirds. And now uh, this guy's drinking, I'm really happy. Let's see if I can get this off. Get it close up. It's normally not that tangled up, he's there. Normally got them stretched out in the water, but like I said, this guy isn't very old. I kinda maybe rush fed him today. I usually wait 24 hours. But yeah, I'm gonna feed him, put him back in his home, and uh, if I get one more, hopefully then I'll get eggs, and then I can do another video. Anyway. I was pretty pumped. I just uh, brought my little guy back out to his home. And there was a monarch on my plant. I don't know what he was doing. But I noticed some munching down on this leaf. So I flipped her over and... I don't know if you can see them. That's what the eggs look like. And they're pretty resilient. I usually wear gloves. I'm not going to touch them. But yeah, they, they bounce around pretty good like a, a BB for a BB gun. But uh, yeah. I don't know if those are new or if they're old. But yeah, I'm going to wait until I have way more and pick them. I have about a week before they hatch, so two more days, three more days, I'll check. And hopefully I have more moths by then. But yeah, I find hand feeding them works good. I have this hummingbird feeder that I thought it would work in retrospect, but they don't seem to touch it. Neither did the monarchs that I tried to raise. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Anyway, hopefully I have an update with eggs next video. Later.